Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great as usual and today I want to show you the backplate that I made for my GPS speedo slash RPM slash timer slash other controls or displays not controls so anyway let me show you the PCB I designed I put my Eagle logo on the back and then put of course the description what it is and my name these two holes are actually mounting to the stepper motor and that's the output for the wire and this is just not a PCB that looks nice it also has two touch functions you can see here on the back and here I use the T what was it? Oh, let me get it the TTP223 chips touch sensor chips and these are the small 6 pin SOT23 um, components and these squares are actually the touch uh, sensors itself so it is well this is looking out the back so if you go like this you can change the function of the speedo and uh, I have here two more solder pads where you can adjust if you want to a positive output or negative output and the other one does adjust if you want it momentarily or if you want it switched if it's momentary it goes it changes uh, the output as long as you touch it and if it's a uh, uh, stationary each touch changes the output and it also has a capacitor here a pad for it and uh, actually these chips adjust automatically when you power it up they measure the capacity of the sensor and adjust themselves and if it's still too touchy if it's too sensitive you can put a capacitor in here that will take out this sensitivity but uh, I always leave them off I don't need to um, normally you can put like 22 picofarads over there and it works but this is actually it just works nice with this and I did <coughs> sorry I did 3d print a case for it and I also got some acrylic pieces and as you can see here there is no speed and there is no rpm indicator that will be actually laser cut into the acrylic piece from behind and those will light up i have not done that yet as i don't have a laser uh, engraver so anyway i also put a metal plate behind this and this is a magnetic holder that you can attach to your dash or windscreen in your car and this is how it looks like cable coming out these are two screws I did not have them in black so I used chrome ones but you're not gonna see that but the touch sensor is behind the um, how you call those flappy things the wings oh my god so as soon as I touch that I can change to kilometers per hour uh, timer from 0 to 60 or 100 kilometers per hour and RPM oil pressure water temperature oil temperature and voltmeter and then it goes back to odometer and then the trip you can also reset this is still demo code I have not uh, adjusted it just this is the current odometer of my car just because I can change it obviously and the animation goes like this you have I forgot how many 17 or 19 neopixels and obviously since these are neopixels there's also two neopixels below the needle and you can see the acrylic top and the neopixels in there 
and of course you can adjust the new pixel color and the RPM range and the speed of the GPS speedometer and technically you could do it the other way show the RPM with the needle and show the speed on the OLED display that's all how you wanna do it and uh, this is it actually a few dust speckles here <laughs> that gets worse with the with the pencil brush oh boy I'm lost at words again tonight uh, anyway this is it if you want to have any further information you can leave your questions in the comments and uh, this is my GPS speedo that you can use in your car in your older car where you don't have the uh, output and uh, yeah so this is my and you can use this actually on a motorcycle as well uh, it has a couple inputs uh, rpm input that you can uh, connect to your ignition coil like on a motorcycle or older car and uh, there are other inputs that you can use for the voltmeter uh, oil temperature pressure and whatnot so this is it if you like it uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you like my video you can also subscribe to my channel if you want updates on new other items and uh, thank you to my five patreons still five and uh, if you want to buy me a coffee you can do that or maybe go to my tindy store and you might find something that you like and if you see anything here that is not in my store because some of them are not in my store just leave me a comment and i build i get back to you thanks and take care everybody stay safe